Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a gameplay of Maganga. So I made a poll asking which uh, mage, uh, the underrated mage I should be doing and a lot of you guys were asking me to do it on Maganga. So yeah, and this is a live recording since I didn't have a lot of time. Uh, I'm just doing it as a live recording also. Uh, I'll be going live today at uh, 8 p.m. IST. So yeah, alright, uh, I'll be like giving you some tips I guess on how to play Maganga, he's not very hard but still he's very fun to play, not one of the worst mages in my opinion but uh, we can make him work guys, no problem. Alright so we are in a match against Gragthorn, Lubu, Tulan and uh, Errol, so it should be interesting. And the Grack is legendary, so that's kind of scary. Okay, so we have Saronix, Demetrix, and Osias here with us today. Okay, let's start. Alright then, uh, looks like there is a Zata in our team as well. Since I didn't have a lot of time, I was not able to adjust with him. Whole Hexa United, GG. <laughs> Nowadays, uh, Brain cells is equal to infinity. Demetrix. Okay, let's just. How dare he try to play against us aggressively? We are Maganga. Let's show him our power. See that, guys. No one beats Maganga in the early game. See how much his life is going down. Let's just chase Rubu away as well. Don't you dare, bro. Yeah, for this reason I really like Maganga, like the invade potential and stuff is so insane that like, he's very strong at invading. And also, uh, the healing potential is really good as well. So that guy is dead and Florentino is here, so, and my HP is going up by a lot and they're all lost his stacks and so that will be another kill and this will be another kill. Like. These guys just stole the kills, that's it. Otherwise the whole damage was did only by me and you just witnessed how strong he is, right? The thing with uh, me and Maganga is the reason why I don't put him high up is in any of the lists is because of his incredibly low range and uh, zero crowd control abilities. Like you can say that his first ability is a slowdown but it's just a slowdown, he doesn't even have a stun. But in the early game, he is a monster. Everyone just retreats as soon as they see him or they end up dying. Okay, we got to level 4. Okay, nice. Thank you for hooking me. I have no problem. I don't think I need my ultimate here. He'll just die, no problem. Did he steal the kill? Really? Yeah, I knew that he will hook. So that is why I did the moment. Okay, wait. I was going to type something and then... Because he was going to die anyways, but Demetrix just went in and uh, used his first ability and got the kill. And we have 4 assists right now which is really bad because as Maganga you have to be capitalizing on your early game. Let's add. Let's AD maybe. And uh, this Zata is a really annoying. Dude, he has 2 kills by doing nothing. Okay, so Demetrix meant uh, we should do AD lane. See, this guy even missed his ultimate. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, so that is what Demetrix meant. Now I understand. Nice. Crack was so confident. Wow, why did you use your f Purify? I mean, cleansing. 
see it is actually easy to dodge hooks if the grack is just like throwing hooks randomly okay this guy you did a good ultimate this time and got a kill on Tulan like I don't know what he's doing but as long as I was in the mid lane he was in the mid lane as well and then when I decided to go AD lane he is in the AD lane as well so I'm just going to get the mid lane wave here have to get as much gold as possible and since he's just a random queue I don't really care if I take his gold or not because he's getting all the kills anyways so wow nice hook yeah he'll be dead I didn't even need my ultimate there but just to be safe I used it see now he's coming <laughs> now I don't need your help just hook him and kill him already okay, I'll just go clear the mid lane wave because of this guy you are not even able to invade like if I were the only mid laner I can just go invading every single t chance I get but now since we have to keep on moving the whole time it's really hard to focus on invading as well and maintaining stacks there are a lot of things that you have to do but since I'm not able to play mid lane and since I'm also doing a live recording I'm not able to do all that like always try to have your stacks at see I have two stacks now right the second ability if it hits an enemy it gives you one stack so you can like bring it to five total of five yeah okay. He kind of stole that kill okay we have three now so what this does is if you use your ultimate if I use my ultimate now everyone will get the healing so if if it's three I'll be the only one who gets healed but uh, I can transfer it to my teammates by using my ultimate so all of them can get the healing nab tryhards really if I was tryharding I'll be playing Florentino bro They are literally bullying them right now. So this is what you can do with Maganga. Bully. Let's just hope that this sage buff spawns quickly so that we can get it. Okay. okay let's just stay behind these minions so that we don't get hooked by Grack. The sage buff is up. I'm just going to go and get it. Don't care about the tower. <laughs> Why did he hook the matrix? I was right here. See, I can. I just keep healing. So as long as I have those stacks up, I will be healing. So as you can see it's 3 now, so it will automatically start healing up. And since it's 5, you will have a, a massive amount of healing. And as long as I am able to use my second ability on something, doesn't matter if it's a hero or a creep, I will be able to retain those stacks. Okay. Okay, nice flicker ultimate by Demetrix. Okay, nice ult. Wow, did he execute me? Did he use execute? Oh, okay. He's building full AD. So that is why he was able to like quickly melt me down. So I had my flicker. I was initially thinking about dodging his second ability with my flicker. But then I thought I'll be tanky enough to take that damage. But yeah, he's building Spear of Longinus. Then because of death I don't know what's, what it's called now soul detainer yeah so that's a lot of attack damage and that is why we died okay 
let's get our sage buff wukong already has one and the enemies is also up clear the mid lane wave first also this build uh, i think this is the best one you don't need uh, equipments like apocalypse or zwi and here zwi hander so just pure magic damage build and the slowdown from frosty's revenge is enough it will make them stay in place and make it harder for them to escape you okay one stack guys this is bullying <laughs> Okay, the poor soul is dead. <laughs> He went in like a champion. Okay, this guy is dead. Okay. Oh, I I died before I could even use my ultimate. I could have got a good shield if I was able to use it. I don't know where this noob is running. Naps, you will lose. <laughs> says the guy with one five score wait what do these guys really think they have already won or something wow nice ultimate miss by zata okay, now they have to retreat play more properly i mean play play pray play properly guys Demetrix is doing fine. Saronix is using experimenting some stupid build with Florentino from yesterday. I told him it's trash. See, some Hayoga said shit. Wait and watch. Okay, big talks from someone who misses ultimate like two out of three times. Okay, he used flick purify. Okay. Getting carried and barking. I think he's dead. Yeah. The poison killed him. <laughs> Saranix is dancing now. And another problem with Maganga is that you can't dive towers. Like if my poison is on them, the tower will keep attacking me if I try to go inside range, right? So that is another problem. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, and my healing is also at three stacks, which is very good. <laughs> I really admire the confidence level of this Grack. Okay, let's get the blue buff. Even though we have one already. just slight movements are enough to dodge this crack yeah i think he's just tapping the abilities at this point how can someone miss so much it's as if he is intentionally missing them you know see he's just tapping yeah why run after coming all this way to fight the confidence level guys and the recall dancing by these guys yeah wow 
very good uh, ultimate by Demetrix. Okay, the minions should go in here. Okay, let's just taunt them. They were dancing, right? Let's <laughs> grab gagged. Okay, let's heal all of them. See, I am able to heal my entire team. So Maganga is kind of a healer as well. Yeah, this time no flicker. We could have ended, but uh, at this point, we are just having fun. Because we know we have already won. Yeah. So that's Maganga for you guys. Now I know that he seems so OP in this video, but trust me, he's not. Uh, it's like one of the worst heroes in terms of being a mage. I mean, his early game, like I said, is very good. But uh, overall, no crowd control, no range, no poking abilities. So yeah. So that's uh, going to be it for today's video, I guess. Let's just check the scores. The damage sheet, I mean. Uh, Dimitrix really well played this match. Every single one of his ultimates had like two or three enemies at least. So that was very good. Just, just imagine if I were like Liliana or something else. Uh, whenever Dimitrix used his ult like that, I would have just destroyed everyone instantly. But since it's Maganga, it just takes some time. No burst damage at all. Okay. So that's gonna be it for today's video guys. I hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful. And if you did, make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button. Make sure to join the live stream today. And I'll see you guys in the next video.